Cabin EQV, this is Shin, I'll do the Initial cabin control, landing positions please, very good landing. In 2014, a film crew travelled throughout Afghanistan to film the Afghanistan of today. This is our Afghanistan. It is a part of our world. It is Afghanistan which I love. شما میگه بچه ای گندست ما میگه خالم ما و ما خوب بچه هستیم اول که بایدار میشم اوزو میگه نماز میخنم نماز که خان نباس میرم با کار چرا گلی پران بازی را خوش داری؟ بخاطر زیگه میگه اشتگاه خوش شد خیلی چی تو گلی پران را پرواز میگیم؟ خیلی که تاو میتی جه چوبه که شیجه بیمون دیگه اش دادست سشت تاو میتی با ما نشانش داده میتانی؟ Long time ago, I have remembered during the war time, there are no even if one uh, culverts in the road is destroyed, there there were nobody to 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 rebel. That's, but it it was induced to rebel. That's to at least the people can move from their houses to somewhere, whatever whatever they need, even for going to the market, even for going to the health center. Mostly they they were on open area that was not good we don't have any building for them salam chotor karaye ez khub pesh meram bale akh isa ham mardam chi nadashtam kirim klinikam nadashtam maktabam nadaram there still is an ongoing internal conflict in some parts of the country but despite the difficult situation, with the help of the world and people like Armin, a local aid worker, I witness that the country is recovering. Millions of refugees have returned home. Kabul has been my home for years now. Before 2001, it was inhabited by half a million people. Now, the population is already more than five million. Every day, nearly 60,000 children do go out in the streets to earn something. Some of them are the only breadwinners of their families. Some are forced to do it. It is there that some of the children are found by employees of aid organizations such as Mr. Mortazawi. Their families are often unaware that help may be available for them.
All these children have the misfortune to live in a place that the world would rather not know about. The camps for displaced and the poorest, which Kabul has by the dozen. There are thousands of people living here, pushed out beyond the fringe. Around here, even a private food handout can cause a fight. یاگاند ولیم بود با خورا که خورده خدیگف مگه برون پیش از دختر برو مگه بارش بگو که تو با بیادار ما یک بات کارا کو مگه تو کارا که کدی مگه ما با بارد بیس لگر پا میتو او باز گفته بود گفته بود سایست اما یک اونم کتی او باز دیگه دموجا از کارا گیرشان کت بردشان و بندی خانه What has become a problem in this big city is that children work as hard as adults. They will take up any work because bread is more important. Like in Shamani Babrak, where a boy from the camp has to fight for his fortune. <laughs> دوازده سال استم از لغمان آمده خاطر ازی که اوجا قرض دار شده بودیم پدرم گفته میگه بیای که بریم میگه قرض خلاص اونم میگه باز باز پس میگه میگه وطن خود آج با جبا کار میرم کراچی ما میگیرم میرم با کار انمی که اک تایران آره که میرم انمی پیاز و کچولی در بار کردیم باز می برم در مترشتا می گونم یک دایی یک دینجایی می تیم و خلاص او کسایی که پیسه داره دیگه او خان است او کسایی که به غریبی می آیی نمی جا مفتازه غریبی خود می کند یه نمی کار کار But even that can be a lot. Away from the city, traveling in remote areas of Afghanistan, aid workers I have been working with would often meet people with dramatic stories. In 2003, we were going for the winterization assessment, the very cold weather, the winter after Taliban, the, the village which was completely destroyed. I was among the group of uh, people, but the old man who was sitting there and, and, and he keeps crying and he started to tell me like, um, I'm crying because today I saw your, the pen on your hand. And the guy who is sitting just opposite you is my son. And uh, during the conflicts, during the time when, when still the Afghanistan was in the internal conflicts, I gave the carpet, which is one, the only carpet which, which we had in my, in my home, as a bribe for the group of people who, who came to asking for my son to go to the school. And I told them, like, please don't get my son to the school because the, the propaganda and the rumors was that the people who are going to the school, they will be and religion people. Today, I saw the pen on your hand and you are coming and supporting our, our family. I'm really crying for my son that I did the biggest mistake for him. As recently as 2001, there were less than one million children in the Afghan schools. I saw it become 10 million, of which nearly half are girls. To learn, the children must combine school with work. For them, going to school is like being in a different world, a world where they arrive overtired, but where someone cares about them and where they simply are children. <laughs> Mira, 
चांदस ये चांदस आश मातियों लो ये नीचे चांदस here, they can play safer and count on help. Today, to celebrate the holidays, a rich Afghan has bought a cow. The portions are small, but each child gets one. The mountains of Afghanistan are home to some of the world's poorest people. These are landless farmers or those living off scraps of land. Some of the shepherds leave small herds on the bare slopes and then, for six months, they live in rock crevices. This seemingly harsh and beautiful environment is dangerous. The people, who have suffered a lot, are still living in danger. They live in areas prone to natural disasters. داخل خانه ششتگی یک دوره سیلاب آمد سیلاب که آمد ما شش نفر هم اینجا تلفات دادیم او اولی بردگه و مال باش زمین زندگی همی کل رو جمع کده گرفته رفت پایان دادیم The worst part comes later when it turns out that nobody is interested in what happens to them. Winter is already round the corner. If not for the help of the world, they would not be able to rebuild their lives. Knowledge of the needs of the people make it possible for the aid organisations to help wisely. Sometimes, a gift of a loom can change lives. The Afghan economy is mainly agricultural. Four fifths of the Afghan people work in this sector. <laughs> The Afghans make use of the lessons they learn from us. This extractor press, started by an aid organization, operates for farmers from 80 villages. The cultivation of new plants, even cabbage, gives farmers not only a better income, but also a more diversified diet. But the development is slow and requires years of work. I saw
saw how tough and resistant Afghans can be, but they need our support. In such desolate places, it was mainly thanks to aid work that people finally saw some changes happening. But the key to development is the ability to move around freely. Today in Afghanistan, new roads are being set up. They were built owing to the tremendous work of the international community and the Afghans. But despite the massive work, many problems remain unsolved. In the mountain regions, water is increasingly hard to find. In the early fall and winter, people collect rainwater in holes excavated in the rock. That water must last them half a year. As time goes by, you go further to the last reservoirs, hoping the water lasts until the first rainfall. And the deeper you go into the infinity of the Afghan mountains, the more you are just on your own. Before, these people were stigmatized. I was so happy to see that the presenter is a woman. In her life, Parween met aid workers who helped her start a new life. She achieved what seemed impossible in this society. Parveen 
Parween's disability meant exclusion. Today, Parween herself works with the people who once helped her and helps the needy to start a normal life. در گذشتم مردم تمسخر میکرد و من یک ناشنوا هستم فعلا باستوان هستم و اطفالم تدریس میکنم But these facilities try to support all cases of disabilities, including ones which used to mean a sentence of permanent exclusion. To those in need, the facilities are enclaves of peace and understanding that they have not found in their lives outside the walls of such centres. Sanagul is a caretaker, and he dreams of breaking away from living in the same camp as Navid. I understand why he prefers Kabul with its opportunities, even if it is so hard to make a mark here. I'll show you. The Huaki, the Huaki forms that of Urasigum. Every day, thousands of people get up early to go and learn, as early as 5 a.m. The Afghans I live among are a young nation. Two thirds of them are not even 25. So many of the old generation died in the wars when people were made to fight each other. The war, the conflicts uh, in the country has given an image for us that Uzbeks uh, killing uh, Pashtun, Pashtun killing Hazara, Hazara paying uh, money to kill uh, Pashtun. But you are a humanitarian worker. You are as an Afghan humanitarian worker. And uh, you find that the family which you hated, with the family which in your mind you were just thinking like, I would never work for this tribe. One day you are working for this family and you see that the difference is only because he's living in a different province. But in a fundamental difference is that there is nothing. There is the only thing which this family is poor and he needs your support. And what you do is you really want to give this support. Here in Kandahar, the beating heart of the south, the city itself seems safe.
but the war is still present and has been going on for over three decades. The problem that is unsolved is the millions of pieces of unexploded ordnance that continue to hurt people, mostly children. پټی <laughs> دی <laughs> نو زاغه چې موږ ول چر ورکو هغه تر نوم د غد ول چر هغه هغه طریقه ورته شي امجدې استعمالي عبد الهادي has been working at a facility which helps to cure terrible cases of disability it is the only comprehensive facility within 60 miles casualties of war come here from all over the south prostheses Wheelchairs and rehabilitation activities are managed by people with disabilities, such as Abdul Hadi. Everybody benefits from that. People not only take their first steps again here, they also regain their dignity and the hope that disability is not the end of life. درته هر څو چې راځي هر مالول چې په هر شي مالول سوي که نظامي که ملکي که مخالي په ډلې دلته ټول ته مش په یو نظر ګورو During this 13 years we are come from a war situation to the uh, middle war, not completely peace in here in Afghanistan. Even right the moment we have war in here in our countries, we have uh, many traits of unpeaceful things. Because of that, during these 13 years, now people, a bit can have, at least they have house. But that's need follow up. That's need improvement to up to that stage, to community, people, should be able to do these things by themselves. Otherwise, in this situation, if the wars forget Afghanistan, that will be totally dangerous and very bad. We will re-go on the past. One day, I hear great news. Navid, a boy from the camp, came to the school where Sana Gul works part-time. I feel this is our mutual success, that he took his chance. And I do understand he has his own plan. Navid 
او دیگه دمی نمی تو خانده او نمشته کده او میره ما با خاطر زی که ده این ده رئیس میشم رئیس اینمی کمپ چیز با مردم کومک میکنه It has been 40 years of aid, 40 years of conflict, 40 years of donors' presence, one human lifetime. It is time to thank all donors and citizens of the world who believe that a future can happen. It is also time to remind everyone not to forget Afghanistan. Da 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 da, Hawaii, Papua, Papua. 